Welcome to another episode of Ecology. Woo! So yesterday was 4th of July. And, uh, well, uh, there's a lot of things blowing up. There was fireworks, you know. Of course, there's going to be fireworks. There's going to be explosives. And apparently the LAPD uh, confiscated all these fireworks. They tried to set them off with this, this sort of special... Uh, a truck that detonates inside like the sort of sphere and I guess they might have put too many bombs in there all at once or fireworks you know but they're all pretty much like some that were like you know real some of them that were fake then that were confiscated from you know people they put them I guess they put them all at once and that that truck that supposed to hold all that I guess all that pressure and stuff it just winded up blowing up it wasn't good the whole neighborhood neighborhood that was uh the, well not the whole neighborhood but like the, the neighborhood around that truck just pretty much everything exploded and it, it broke all the glass it was pretty bad a lot of people winded up injured um they the lpd pretty much messed up on that you know they could have they could have uh put it somewhere else but i guess they messed up and a couple of people, you know, got hurt, and uh, I haven't, um, I've never seen any, I haven't seen stupidity like that in a while, like, in a, you know, wow, I don't know. So let's get to the movies. Um, this is Hectology. Welcome to Hectology. I am your host, Hector. All these movies are from Shudder. Shudder is like a, a Netflix, but for like... Horror movies, like supernatural movies, monster movies, psycho psychological thrillers, you know, uh, on and on. And then with also like, Ed, they also include series, like little mini series. Um, but they also have, you know, exclusives that Shudder makes themselves and wind up being even more bigger success in the, you know, in the, you know, much grand grander um, platforms. But for the first one that I well, I'm pretty sure I didn't watch these in order. Well, I think I did actually. I I, I kind of sort of knocked out in one of them, but then I watched it the next day. But let's uh talk about Vicious Fun, and this one is uh, it's a it's a pretty fun movie. Like yeah, it's it's a fun movie. It's a dark horror, and it involves this uh ki this this kid. Can you call him a kid? What do you call, what's his name? So Joel, this the the pretty much the pro protagonist of this is Joel, and he winds up following uh, his roommate's date, who's this like pretty cocky looking, uh, um, charming guy, right? And he winds up, uh, you know, uh, talking to him, and then, you know, after a while, when he's in the bar. Uh, uh, Joel gets a little too messed up, and he winds up, um, passing out in the, uh, the, the janitor's closet. He wakes up, you know, from his, like, uh, little hangover, and he, he's like, um, it's pretty much like an AA meeting, but, like, not really, it's just like a meeting, but with, instead of, like, alcoholics, they're serial killers, and so they're pretty much, they're, they're saying, like, you know, how they do their, like, their killings and stuff, so one of them is like, yeah, I, um, I go to the sorority and just pretty much kill everybody in there, and the other one's more like, yeah, but I, I, um, I feel him to, I feed him. Well, I kill him and then I kill him again and then I make I, I uh I revive him and I kill him I revive him and I kill him and whatever and so they're pretty much all like pretty much sadistic and pretty much cruel. He makes he makes an error so instead of trying to you know he, he can't he can't be like well oops you know my bad wrong meeting so he kind of just says yeah well I'm I'm the guy that you know that's not here Phil. So I'm Phil, and uh, I'm also a serial killer, and I kill people with a taxi, and I'm a, and I, the way I kill, you know, people is with a, a taxi, and I drive them around, and, and so, like, his kind of charade kind of, um, falls apart when the guy that he was, um, uh, pretty much stalking winds up being on, on, you know, another serial killer 
who also was he was late for the, he was made, he was late for the meeting and he comes out and he is like basically like um I thought you were um I thought your name was Joel he's like well my name that's like um you know he's like all nervous and stuff and he's like oh well um you know that's what I say so you know I can uh keep people people away from me and not know who like who I am and not catch me you know and so he pretty and he's like, no, nah, I don't know, man. It's kind of and then the other guy's kind of sniffing him out. He's like, I don't know. I think you're a fraud, and so they wind up um, pretty much kind of cornering him, and you know when the one of the characters wants to like kill him, but I guess he was mo- he er, the, nobody really liked him and they wind up just killing him and it's pretty over the top. I think you'll like this movie if you just want to have some fun. It's got a good cast. It's it doesn't really feel like it's going too long. It's it's got enough to show, and um, I think it's a fun movie to watch if you just uh, just want to watch something on a Friday night. Vicious Fun is a definitely a good movie to watch. The next one is Boys from Country Hell. This one is like set in like in what is in in the United Kingdom in in I- Ireland. This one is called the um, Boys from County Hell, and this one's about like a. It's like they got a good they got a good take on uh, you know on the very much oversaturated vampire genre, and you're like, what can what else can you do with this kind of um you know kind of you know uh, type of movie you know this type of vampire movie and I, I feel like they did like some sort of justice with it because they brought a new element to it like you know how like you know vampires suck your neck this time they they pretty much suck you like um from your orifices and then they like you kind of see it like where the blood kind of flows you know to it and it's like a river of blood on the floor. So it's kind of different. And like how the infection happens and how like how like the weaknesses of the vampire, it's a lot different. And this one doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses instead of instead of using conventional conventional like weapons like you know stabbing in the in the heart with a you know with a <laughs> with a stake with a wooden stake or something. This one you have to like pretty much put you know stones and rocks on top of it pretty much put all this weight over it and so it will never escape again and don't ever like get too close to it because you might you know wind up accidentally and you know activating it, activating it while you get rammed by a by a you know uh by a bull Man, that scene was crazy. Watch, when you watch this movie, you'll be like, damn, man, what the hell? I like, yeah, like, and also, like, the special effects were pretty good. Um, They didn't too, they weren't too, like, um, too over, really, really over as you can be with this type of, like, vampire thing. But they did have their moments of, like, sheer blood and, 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 and guts, and it was awesome. They did a really good, sh- you know, really good job with this type of vampire type of movie, you know, and props to them. Recommend you watching this one as well. I think you'll uh, wind up liking, you know, this, this, this movie and it's very fun. This third one is Fried Berry and this one is about, um, uh, this junkie who um he lives like i guess in apparently in, like in south africa cape town and he winds up getting picked up um abducted by aliens and i guess the alien switches bodies with him and he just the alien takes an adventure through like cape town and like i don't know i don't know really much about cape town but i guess seeing this movie kind of gives me a, a little bit of of a taste of what Cape Town, like, you know, kind of is, like, party-wise, and it's crazy, you know, because they just be giving people, like, free drugs, and there's, like, I guess prostitution is legal there, I don't know, so, like, 
and the movie is pretty crazy itself because it's pretty much an alien and he it is it doesn't really talk until on like unless they like but like tell him like hey say something he'd be like ah he'd just be yelling and stuff and uh there's pretty some uh, you know some w uh, wtf moments in that movie especially with you know the whole like <laughs> the baby scene and like damn like like there's like um I don't. It feels kind of trippy as well, and the movie kind of feels like at, at first it's like he's just pretty much pure chaos on like where is he gonna go next, and then he winds like the alien winds up getting into a like into a wrong spots and getting his ass kicked, but also at the same time getting abused with drugs and people just injecting him with random drugs and just trying whatever like it sees, and so it's a crazy movie. Um, it's pretty different than I've ever, like most movies that you get to see that type of, you know, um, substance, substance, substances and tr like people doing all these drugs and, and also like the, you know, the, the sexual is pretty sexual. Like, yeah, you know, like a uh, pretty, uh, a lot of raw moments in that movie and pretty much a lot of trippy moments and. Overall, it's it's a it's a unique experience to watch. Um, if you just wanna maybe like like maybe at twelve in the night or eleven in the night, like a good like show like at that like midnight to just try to knock out on it and then see what happens. You know, I think that movie would be sick to watch when you're just going into sleep mode and you just uh, have the trippiest dreams because you just watched that movie. Because I try to watch it like at night, but I just, I was just ha I had a cold and stuff, so I was feeling kind of drowsy with that, dr you know, with that uh, Allegro medicine, and it just uh, pretty much knocked out. But uh, I, I, and then I watched it the next morning, and it was like at eleven or twelve, and it was still like it was still pretty uh, fun. From uh, I still kind of watched it halfway because some of the first parts are kind of like gross, so I kind of like left it off like in the middle of it so yeah but it was it was a fun it was a fun movie to watch uh go give it a a goog or a watch and uh let me know how you guys like uh, let me know guys if you guys watch these movies down below comment and tell me about the scene like the, the scene that you liked because like at the like at the top of my head right now i can't think of a lot of scenes i wish i could have and i don't want to like sometimes when i do this this um this thing i just don't want to give away too much of the movie or like uh spoil it a lot because i tend to do that and whenever i'm ever in the mood of spoiling things i will do it or i just will give you the whole movie but hopefully this time i just kind of slow down and kind of uh give you a little preview of it but maybe later on i just do it like a explain or because it's just me because i'm just like i'm so i'm just i'm just so what is it called like uh spastic on the way i want to do things so so yeah like that's how my brain is like i just go from one place to another and maybe i should do this or maybe i should do that and i don't care i just it's just like this is how it is when you want to keep it unscripted you know it's gonna be kind of chaotic all right guys i'll let you guys go let me know if you guys like the movies uh, come back and comment or go follow my Instagram. Pretty sure I'll leave my username username there. So, all right, guys, bye, bye, bye.